Hey everybody! Today we're going to see if you can make some cheap, portable acoustic treatment out of shipping blankets and PVC pipe. Recently, I moved into a rented house for the summer. I'm only here for three months and I can't make any permanent alterations. Furthermore, where I live normally is also a rented space, which I might not be living there for much longer. Therefore, if I wanted some acoustic treatment, I would need something that is portable and easily removable that won't cause any permanent damage. After giving it some thought and trying out some different things, I decided maybe I should try building a portable room out of some PVC pipe to create a frame and using heavy duty shipping blankets to create some sort of soundproofing or sound treatment. I bought a pack of 12 heavy duty shipping blankets off of Amazon for about $80. I cut holes out of the shipping blanket and attached some curtain grommets that were one inch in diameter. To build the frame of the room, I took PVC pipe that originally came in 10 foot lengths and cut them down into six, four, and three foot pieces. Therefore, I can build a room that is three feet by three feet and a room that is four feet by four feet, or I can combine them together into a room that's about seven foot by seven foot. This makes a pretty versatile setup if you want to record a singer, acoustic guitar, or maybe even a small drum set. Now I don't know of a good way to show you on YouTube whether or not this makes it a better mixing environment, but I can try to show you whether or not it makes it a better acoustic recording environment. To do that, I'm going to try recording acoustic guitar in fingerstyle and strumming. I'm going to do this using my Yamaha FG700S being recorded by a pair of Sterling Audio ST55 large diaphragm condenser mics in a stereo pattern. These are going into a Focusrite Scarlett 18i8. Can you hear a difference in the two recordings? If you can, great! If you can't, I might have just wasted $200. That room, however, has a pretty bad fluttery echo in it, and putting up the shipping blankets has really reduced, if not eliminated that. Therefore, I think it was a worthwhile investment. If you're on the road often and you want some sort of cheap, temporary acoustic treatment to take with you, this isn't a bad way to do it. If you're settling into a real place, I'd recommend looking at real acoustic treatment. Glenn Fricker has a very good video on how to build your own bass traps, and I'll link to that down below in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know. If you can think of ways that I could have done this whole process better, by all means, let me know, put it in the comments, and hopefully you'll be able to answer some other people's questions. Thank you so much for watching.